back here on Sportsline. We continue our evening with Jonathan Hutton from Outkick 360. He joins us via Zoom from his home studio in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Well, Jay Hunt, we were talking about pro wrestling going into the break, and it got me thinking. Uh, watched Hell in the Cell the other night, Sunday, while I was preparing the Sunday Sports Central show. It was, it was crazy. I was watching the Vols. <laughs> in the NCAA regional, I was watching the Vandy boys in the NCAA regional, and I was watching Hell in the Cell on Peacock. Uh, amazing yeah. performance by Cody Rhodes in the main event against Seth Rollins with a torn pack, his pack torn off the bone, but he went out there and had an incredible match, beat Seth Rollins in the, inside the cell. His dad, the American dream, Dusty Rhodes, had to be looking down with a lot of pride that night. So, um, John, whenever he came out and he pulls the robe off, right, mm -hmm. the, he, he shows the bruise here on his on his peck. But then uh, the, the blood and stuff that was underneath the, it, the muscle had gone all the way down his arm. I mean, it was brutal. Mm -hmm. He did this weightlifting, right, weight yeah. training. Yeah. And it tore the, the pectoral muscle uh, off the bone and still was able to make it through a match. And I, I think it was like a 15 minute match at mm -hmm. that. I mean, it was a long match. Um, that will go down as one of the best performances in the last era of, uh, of pro wrestling. Like that, it's like, it's not Mick Foley, but I can't think of a better example other than Mick Foley who would be crazy enough to do that. I can't imagine the pain he was in hmm. doing that, but he, he pulled it off and Mad props to Cody Rhodes, man, because that that is pure dedication to the craft and not looking out for your well-being. And you may, maybe you can't damage it any, anymore, but there's no way uh, a doctor would have told him it's in your best interest to go ahead and do this. They probably right. said it's up to you. Sign here and tell us that it's not our fault if you end your career. Mm -hmm. And he was willing to do it. Props. Yeah, and props to Seth Rollins, too, for, for taking care of him during the match. You know, I was thinking about it. Yeah. One of the things I'm looking forward to with uh, WWE coming here for SummerSlam is Bianca Belair, Bianca Blair, she was known at the University of Tennessee where she ran track. She's from Knoxville. Okay. Uh, the women's champion. She, she had a great match, uh, I thought, with, uh, with uh, Becky Lynch and Asuka to open the show last week. Boy, you look at the things that she can do in the ring, Jay Hutt. I think she's pound for pound the best athlete in all the professional wrestling, regardless of gender. It might be. Uh, you, I mean, a lot of the a lot of the women in the company right now are pretty. Uh, I mean, they're top ten caliber, right? Um, she's up there. She's fantastic. There are clips of um, the old training facility days, mm -hmm. and you know, you you can tell it's her, but she looks extremely young and raw in these clips and she's in the background actually doing things the the proper way and the trainers are just cussing out you know <laughs> the, the other people who aren't getting it right and she's she just immediately picked up on it so um she's a she's a superstar and she'll speaking of SummerSlam, she'll be there right yeah um, um, we're hoping uh, we can uh we can uh yeah. track her down that week we'd love to talk with her and i'm sure our, our viewers and listeners would love to talk hear from her her being from um again from knoxville went to the university of tennessee all right jay hutt uh a little over a decade ago we had the cm punk pipe bomb from las vegas which really put the business you know on its ear and then of course last week mjf comes out for AEW and delivers the mother of all pipe bombs just went scorched earth on Tony Khan, AEW, his contract situation. Obviously, it's an angle now, but, you know, there was a lot of shoot in that work shoot promo he cut the other night. What would you think of that? That makes it, I mean, even in, um, in an era where we know everything is completely scripted and, if, you know, in WWE, they're not even allowed to use the word wrestle. Right. They have to say sports entertainer. Right. It's not a belt. Um, it's a championship. Yes, in WWE. exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's moments like MJF gave us that feel authentic now. It's the guy on the microphone, not the guy in the ring necessarily. And that that was epic. I, you're watching it, and there's not it's not doesn't happen often enough where you wonder did this guy go off script or not? Mm -hmm. And he even if he was scripted. There's no way you script what he said about the owner of the company and everything involved. 
Uh, I give props to Tony Khan. For those that don't know, he's uh, the son of Shad Khan, who owns the Jacksonville Jaguars. He, he's also one of the presidents of the team, the CEOs of the team, uh, Tony is, uh, for allowing someone to go out there and degrade him the way, and his company, mm -hmm. the way that MJF did. Yeah. But you don't do it unless there's a financial incentive there. And you were telling me he's, he's definitely received a raise and mm -hmm. there there is a storyline here and that means he's going to win the belt soon yeah and you know with cm punk injured obviously it looks like it, you know the door could be open yeah. for him uh to win the championship well, i love talking wrestling with you jay hunt this is fun next time you come on we're just going to talk wrestling for an hour how about that you're going to be I love, on the i love the business i love the business end of sports yeah and, and, and big companies like that yeah. because there's always a hook and this one's got me. Yeah, definitely. All right, we got to take our final break, Jay Hunt. We're going to come back and wrap things up right after this.